What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another D5 render video for you. So um, last week D5 Render rolled out their newest version, version 1.6. So in addition to rolling out some additional features, they've also rolled out a new version or a new free version in addition to a pro version that I wanted to talk a little bit about. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, let's talk a little bit about the differences between the free version and the pro version or the passport d5's base rendering program remains free um, so basically what that means is that means that you can download d5 render and you can use it no problem so there's two things that are really kind of different with the commercial version the first is that the commercial version allows you to export video and the second is that it also gives you as, um, access to the asset library so you can find out more information on that by clicking on this button right here for the passport that'll talk a little bit more about this so one cool thing about this is it does does give you free lifetime updates if you purchase that right now. I believe the purchase cost for that is $480, but it never expires and you get free updates as they update the program. So if you're planning on using D5 Render long term, this might be a good investment to make. Um, as you scroll down, you can see how um, the Passport version gives you animation and video as well as access to their 3D asset library. And so they also kind of list out all of the different features, but those are kind of the two things to note. That's what's going to make the difference is access to those models and the video feature. Now let's talk through some of the new features that are contained inside of version 1. Point, I believe we're up to 1.6 now. All right, so one of the features that they've added is a keyframe animation tool. And so what the keyframe animation tool does is it allows you to actually move things around in your animations. So for example, if I go into my asset library and note that this actually shows you um, what is included and what isn't. So for example, all of these cars that are in gray right now because I haven't logged in with my pro yet are currently not available for download. If you have the pro version, you can download this. So you can see, however, that a couple of these do appear to be uh, available for download and so I'm going to bring this car model in and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to demonstrate the keyframe animation feature real quick and so with the way this is going to work is you can go up into your render features and create a video well then inside of the video you can click the shoot button in order to set one scene location and so we've created our first scene or our first view now we're going to create a second one by clicking on this button right here and then you can add keyframes to this location. So for example, I wanna start with my time right here. And you can just come up here and you can click the button to add a keyframe. And then let's say that we were to go to the end of the video right here, and we could move our car. And so when we move our car set at six seconds, you can see how this sets another keyframe right here. So now if I was to go back to the beginning of the video and click play, you can see how the car is going to move from this point to this point. Um, so you can use this in order to animate the movement of different objects. You can obviously use this to create more complex animations, but these are the building blocks that you're going to use. Now I will say I don't know at the moment if there's a way to animate like the wheels turning or anything like that. I think it's more of a simple keyframing tool where you just set the X, Y. You can do some rotation stuff in here, so you might be able to figure out a way to do that. But for now, just be aware that that tool has now been added inside of D5 Render. So they've also added the ability to update your model references. So now, if you go into your list, you can see your models. And for example, if I was to click on this and look at what's over here, you can see how there's an option in here to reload. So if I was to go over into SketchUp and add, let's add something very simple. So let's say we were to add some tree models in here, and then we were to save our model and saving your changes inside of your base model are going to be really important but once we make that change so if we were to go back into d5 now and we were to select our model and we were to click on the button for reload what that would do is that would ask if we want to reload our model and we're going to say yes and it's going to go back and it's going to get the newest version of this model so it'll pull in the changes that you've made so in this case what that's going to do is that's going to pull in 
model with our trees. And obviously these are trees with just like 2D components on here. So the trees don't necessarily look as good, but the point is you can go back and you can update with changes. Now I have not tested what this does with any materials that are applied to your model or anything like that. I would assume that it's gonna um, take any changes that you make and then uh, make them inside of this model as well. There is now the ability for you to bring in those changes from your models and reload them really quickly inside of D5 Render. So in addition, I do want to highlight again that they've added the brush tools inside of D5 Render. So now you can use that in order to bring in things like grass. So you can use that in order to bring bring the grass in. Note that this is still built on that uh, Unreal Engine um, grass tool. So you may have to do a little bit of extra work to make sure your coverage is super good. But I feel like this is doing a fairly good job of allowing me to bring in that grass material, put it on put it on the ground. You could also use this to spread things like trees. So if I was to pull down this tree, for example, I can use that in order to spread and add trees inside of this as well. And note that they are still adding to this library. So as I scroll down, you can see how there's more and more of these in here. Some of these are only available for the pro version. I don't know if these others are gonna remain as a part of the free. I'm currently not logged into the pro version right now and it's still letting me see these. So you might just wanna download this and test that for yourself. So for those of you that have slower internet connections like me, they are talking about having some ability to download some of these asset packs offline as well. So being able to download these um, once instead of having to download them every time. Um, I'm not 100% sure where that is going, but that is a discussion that's being had. The trade-off on that is every time you download a new version of D5 Render, the download file isn't nearly as big as something like a Twinmotion or a Lumion, um, just because those assets aren't built in, they're cloud-based. So depending on what you're looking for, um, you should have options for both of those um, in the future. So in this newest version, they also do have another example file that you can download, this spring file. I haven't downloaded it yet just because it's a little bit bigger file and my internet isn't going very fast this morning, but you can also download this and kind of take a look at the settings and get an idea of how things are set up in D5 to get those great results. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Are you interested in D5 Render? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.